Hello, everybody. Is it working? Hope so. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Me message of the day. <laughs> Eat more. <laughs> Eat more. <laughs> Eat more. Veggies. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to our regular Sunday Live hangout. Hangout. <laughs> thing. <laughs> we don't have a name for this. There's, we've got Carla's got a waffle. So no, here, that's so not her live though. Oh, a waffle, a weekly waffle is her. Oh, it's not weekly vlog. Not, it's not a live. So here and Beck have got a chinwag. Yeah, we've got a thing we do on a Sunday. It's a Sunday live stream. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's say a few hellos in the chat. If you are watching us live, uh, please pop in and say hello. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, first in was was Craig. Hello, Craig. Hello, mate. How are you? I was telling you Craig's got a dog, wasn't I? You were. What mm -hmm. sort of dog? I can't remember what you said now. Pug. Is it, is it a pug? Can't remember now. What dog Sorry. have you got, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've, we're old. Our memories don't function anymore. As, as was proved today, because I couldn't remember lots of things today. <sighs> it's hard work today. We'll get on to what we did today and yesterday. Yeah. We may Our brains may not function. We are completely fried. Absolutely shattered. Uh, and we also sunburnt and tired mm. which did we decide i'm sunburnt and you're tired yeah yeah i don't look sunburnt in there in here no, it's quite, it's quite, quite <laughs> the red. contrast yeah. there though yeah anyway let's say a few hellos before we kick off uh rs harris peter ray hi pete lulu welcome uh there's alan um haven't got any further with testing the cartridge yet alan but it is it will happen uh aaron is in should be doing a chat with aaron again soon can't remember what we decided <laughs> day wise but uh next week i think uh yeah. is it is it the real kate and i i think so <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh near as in lots and lots of people hurricane harukan ian is that the ian that we always get wrong i don't know <laughs> i don't know okay <laughs> uh Darren Mallet, welcome. Bobby Ricketts, Jesse, we could go on all night. From reseller. If um, it was Carla, she'd go through the whole thing. But if we uh, <laughs> we could just do this all night. Well, um, welcome you, everybody. Well, 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 Laurie, Laurie Andrews is 55, so we'd like to say happy birthday to Laurie Andrews. Spring chicken, <laughs> 55. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Um, on that note, uh, quickly, uh, a few speed shout outs again. Uh, if you have chosen to support us by shopping from our eBay, um, we are thankful and we want to give you a quick shout out as usual. So um, today, I think it was, Kerry bought a bundle of Rihanna and uh, Beyonce CD was in there as well. Thank you for that. Andy bought a Cure DVD. Kathy, now I don't think I thanked Kathy last week, bought all of those Harry mm. Potter plates. Um, that you saw Nick packaging. That I packaged <laughs> in a thrilling video. Um, she hasn't messaged yet to say they've arrived safely, so fingers crossed. Um, Lisa yep. bought a new CD. Matthew bought some Dizzy Rascal CDs. Ian bought some 1980s CDs. She bought some what, Rascals? Dizzy Rascal. I'm sure if you said Dizzy. Oh, as you can see, I've been listing a lot of media. Uh, uh, Steve bought an REM CD. Oh, what does that say? Zoo Tycoon DS. Tim. Tim bought Zoo Tycoon on the DS. Selena bought some uh, Khalees CDs and a Depeche Mode DVD, which I have in my collection. I bought this one to resell. She has some taste. Uh, Anita bought a bundle of Blur. Jack bought some Billy Ray Cyrus. A little bit of country in Jack's life. So thank you so much for the support on the eBay store. Yeah. Right. Now what we're going to do. You uh, wanted to well, say thanks to Carla. Oh, yeah. Not and we Carla. Also want Karin. I don't know if Karin's in. But um, you know that Karin has been making some lovely masks. Um, well, these are our latest lovely masks from Karin. Yeah. Yours has got a design. Mine's a... Uh, I went for plain. Yeah. Yes. Cheers, Karen. So, uh, um, yeah, check her out on Instagram if you are in if you are looking for a mask. 
because um, she makes some beautiful ones. Dizzy Rascal is one of those rappers, Andrea. No, I thought you said Disney Rascal. Maybe it's just my <laughs> head because everything is Disney. <laughs> Disney Rascal is a whole other, <laughs> a whole other thing. <laughs> um, anyway, today we. I don't know if I shared it on Instagram. I shared yesterday. We f literally filled the mini yesterday. It was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and we had Ellen with us. So she was like just hemmed in, wasn't she? She was not impressed. My, I have an estate car. <laughs> I've got a, a big Ford Focus diesel estate, but it's full of stuff. We, we were meaning to drop off at uh, Cancer Research. We went to Cancer Research and they were taking no donations big signs up no donations we're like oh my god we filled the car yeah. and couldn't drop it off so we couldn't take the big car we went to a jumble trail thing yesterday in chertsey yeah hello to those people we bumped into that recognized us and went what are you doing here <laughs> it's about an hour's drive for yeah. us and absolutely filled the car it didn't help that i bought i think it's approximately 700 ish classical cds almost one of the first stores we went to what was your face like when i picked that up i was really unimpressed at the time because we literally had only arrived we've been there 10 minutes and um and literally nick absolutely filled the ev almost every space in the mini that we had <laughs> are you exaggerating again no it was it was rammed and I was like, well, this is great. We've come all this way. <laughs> How are we going to fit anything else in the car? So I wasn't very impressed in the beginning. And when you see the vlog, you'll see me oh, being you'll very see. impressed. <laughs> I, filmed, I filmed yesterday and we did get some great pickups yesterday. I kind of wished I'd filmed today because today was I've, just I amazing. I was saying. Go on um, so anyway, um, as the day went on, we did manage to squeeze some other stuff in. We... It's amazing what you can fit in a mini. You fit it under the seats, <laughs> in the footwells. <laughs> I, I had plates on my on my lap. I had pots by my feet. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. we were just laden down. So we did make it work. And, and I do appreciate that it was a good deal. And we will make some good money from it. It was just the fact that it literally took up all the space we had. And I thought, oh. That's great. So how are we going to buy anything else now? <laughs> we made it work. But you'll see in the video oh. that we I filmed using the GoPro yesterday. And you'll see it was, it was a comical moment. I, I did a deal, £30 for, I haven't counted them. It's I reckon it's approximately 700 classical CDs. And then we carted them all off. The, the chap who was selling them to me helped. And we stacked it up at the back of the mini. And he was sort of like, is this going to work then? And I was like, I don't know. See what happens. And um, we stood there and, and it took us a good 10, 15 minutes to Tetris it all in. Uh, but yeah, that'll be in the video. But I didn't film today and wished I had. We found some amazing stuff. I bought a collection, a big collection of vinyl albums and 12 inch singles, which is epic. A really nice pioneer um, record deck and tons of stuff um krillin thank you for the super chat hope you're okay rob the mini is the small car <laughs> clues in the name rob <laughs> uh, my ford is the big car but it's out of action because it's full of stuff ah <sighs> yeah sorry i was just going back yeah highlight some comments um yeah sorry <laughs> Mm. Not very awake. Karen, Karen's in. <laughs> she is. I uh, yeah. I was just looking to see. Oh, Lex. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. She got a there cat we one. Go. Thanks, you too. I'm watching. Ah, oh, hi, Karen. Got that cat. Yeah, yeah. One. Have you not seen it? I yeah. should have got a cat one. You need to watch Lex's there. vlogs. Yeah. <coughs> don't, I I do don't really <laughs> like attracting attention to myself. I think if I had a pattern thing on, I'd, yeah. I'd be a bit self-conscious. I'm self-conscious enough. Looking like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, Rob. The focus is the big car. It's an estate. Focus is the yeah. What we call an estate. What you call? What do they call them over there? Saloon? No, that's a oh, different no. thing. Yeah, I don't know. Station wagon. Ah, yeah. Maybe. Kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. Long. <laughs> long. Long. Big. 
<laughs> big and long. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, okay. Should we share some stuff? Now, uh, we've got some bits. Andrea is still enforcing this quarantine thing. So when new stock comes into the house, it sits around and then we share it the following week. So next week, it's going to be insane with hall wise. I'll probably do the vinyl as a separate video and get all geeky about the vinyl. Yeah. And we'll do the rest of the haul next week. This oh, stuff. No, that's, <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to. That made me laugh, but I didn't mean to highlight that. Um, what was I highlighting? It's a big one, was oh, it? this one. No, I'm still not managing it. There we go. <laughs> that one. Oh, well. Yeah. Mode. Yeah. Mask. See, I, I would wear that with, with pride, yeah. I think. Oh, Mark says, just had my 60th birthday last Sunday. Um, have been the same... I've been the same since. I've watched you two. I've been the same since. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused have, by that comment. I've watched you two from your very first blog. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with us. I know, right? <laughs> Cheers, Mark. And, uh, and happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Hi, Mike. Um, tow bar on both cars and trailer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would have been handy today, Mike, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it was ridiculous we we filled every last let's talk about what happened today actually um, we went yeah. do we have to read that quickly nick doesn't watch my <laughs> vlogs that's it i'm off i do we often watch your ones on the big telly you've seen the pictures we've messaged well i'll have to prove it now i'll have to text yeah. lex well, pictures of us watching i've told lex she's my um washing up buddy when i'm oh when you I watch the washing yeah up, yeah but lex is a bit um, that's true that's true we've so. been watching more carlo on the big chat oh dear well yeah we'll sort that out okay <laughs> <laughs> today we went to another jumble trail in Sud sun sudbury sun sunbury sunbury on Thames. on Thames. sudbury is very different very posh it was well parts of it were and um there were 80 odd stalls i reckon or you thought? Uh, yeah, some, somebody said they're about 80 stalls. So impossible to get round in the allotted time. Mm. And it felt like very few buyers. <laughs> so we had the run of it. No, I think what he meant was he was sheepish that we watched more Carla on together and he was, hasn't been watching yours and he, yeah. yours he should. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't mean, oh, no, it's bad we're watching Carla. He meant, <laughs> oh, it's bad that we watch more Carla than you. <laughs> well, I don't. I watch you both. <laughs> Am I, have I just dug a big hole? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> would, you like, would you like a shovel for that hole you're digging? <laughs> no, I'm all right. Perfectly capable <laughs> of doing it myself. Um, yes. What was I saying? So there was loads and loads of stalls, too many to get round. And it felt like very few buyers. And we spoke to a few mm. stall holders who said they'd, they'd seen a little bit of footfall, but not masses. So we don't think it was that well promoted no. and we just filled the car with stuff um towards the end a lot of store holders had got bored put a sign up saying help yourself everything free and and left it all and we were still picking up good stuff at that point um it was great fun it really was carla says i'm but very important <laughs> <laughs> you are lex and we enjoy your videos no, Spen perhaps Carla was saying she's very important. You're both very important. <laughs> They're both very important, aren't uh, they? And you're going from from now on. You're going to watch all of their videos. Lex is my favouritest Lex I know, and, and Carla, Carla is our favouritest Carla. Yes, yes, yes yeah. definitely. Right. So the bits we're <laughs> going to share today um, are from last week when we went uh we had another big clear out uh, the stuff that's still in the car is what's left from a big clear up a lot of it was personal stuff we're downsizing a lot of things um so we we sold at the boot sale had a really successful day again all told it was uh, almost exactly 150 pounds so it was worth the effort that we took on the day mm -hmm. so we had a quick wander around beforehand didn't go too mad so we'll share what we picked up last yeah. sunday yeah Okay. Ah, oh, we've actually listed something and sold it from last week. Oh yeah, we we did. You sold your your pua. And and yeah, we do. Well, I, I don't know quite how to say this. Spit it out. I, I normally do um, quarantine things for like three days, 
but we bought some Disney stuff. And um, before I knew it, Ellen was cuddling the big pua. <laughs> so if I find a picture of him, I can show you. We bought a big um, pua. Uh, pua is. I'll find the picture. He, he's a big. Well, hang he's, on. He's tap from point, tap point, tap point. Oh, you've given it away. Oh, sorry. He's from Mo Moana. He's like the little pig friend. I, yeah, I can't bleach it out that way. If I put it near me, it. there he is. Is it a he? I think it's a he. So that one um, sold for 25. You took an offer of 25. Yeah. Oh, it's quite and he, a big I, one. Yeah. So I was cuddling him myself. And then I thought, I'll just research him. And before I knew it, I'd listed him. So um... <laughs> from the same stall, we got that one. This guy who is, uh, I had to write it down. Hi, hi. I hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> I looked this up. 30 quid used. Really? That has sold for 30 quid That's used. Madness. Top end, you know, anywhere between all the way from, from sort of 15 all the way up to 30 quid. It's wow. quite a small one. We were going to bundle. The poor it was like, was like yeah, this. Yeah, like massive. But I, I guess, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, uh, sold less. So he's cool. We got all of these from the same store. This is quite a common thing. This is Moana, obviously. Um, that's still about 15. And this is so cool. Check that out. The detail. It's got all of the tattoo detail. If you've seen the film, you'll know that these all come alive. This is all animated on his skin. It's really clever. Um, and he's called... Maui? Maui. I think so. I did write it down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Maui. And and he's about a £30 plush. Might even be able to push it more because he's tagged. And we paid. Now, we had a bit of a haggle with them, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, 12 was what we ended up at. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we paid 12 for the Pua Pua Pig, <laughs> Maui, Hey Hey. Yeah, Bailey is saying hey, hey Hey is a very rare one. Great find. And the more common. And all told, we're going to probably end up with, yeah. hang on, 30. Kathy thinks it's a good 60, find. Yeah, over 100 we'll get back, which is crazy, right? So that was... That. It's a really, really good film, so hey, you should, you should watch it. Yeah, it's worth worth the effort of watching that. We, I could send you up a DVD if you want to borrow one. Happy to do that. Just send it for the girls, and then so here can watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, plushes. Cool? Yeah. Done. Yeah, cool. Very cool. And um, The Rock plays him and sings. You're welcome. <laughs> Who knew The Rock could sing, right? Well. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. How rude. Um, we really didn't buy much. We'll, we'll have to draw this out. Yeah. <laughs> we literally didn't. We didn't even do a full circuit. We were so keen and keyed up to clear stuff. We had a quick wander around a couple of rows and then then unpacked the car and got selling. Yeah. Oh, do you want to read? Yeah. Um, thank you for the super chat, Toys for Boys. Um, great to see you guys healthy and busy. Can't wait to see <coughs> how busy after everything is opened. Yeah. Thank Hugs you so much for the super chat. Lovely Thank to see you much. in. Yeah, things are slowly getting back to normal here, aren't they? Slowly but surely in parts of the UK, though, unfortunately, they've had to lock down again. Yeah. Um, but then I think that's just going to be the same all over the world, isn't yeah, it, at the I moment? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there was a comment from Michelle. Dwayne Johnson's Instagram is filled, filled with him singing, you're welcome to his little girl. She still doesn't believe he's Maui. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, I follow um, Josh Gad. And the other day he posted that. His, Is that the snowman dude? Yeah, the other day he posted that his little girl asked him to sing in the summer to her before she went to bed. And he said, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> um, oh, you didn't highlight it. Oh, sorry. Um yeah, Zaheer said, spent this weekend selling too. I don't know if that was the market stall or if you did boot sales. I'm not sure what you were up to, but felt good, especially as eBay has been quiet. Ours has dropped off a bit. 
We had a fairly good week, but the last couple of days have been below par, haven't they? Not great. Yeah, it's not been good. But um, yeah, I saw a picture of Zahir with a mask on on Instagram. Don't know if that was from this weekend. Hi, Daryl. Got an interesting eBay conversation transcript for you. Ooh. Where's the best to send it? Um, Facebook, probably. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, yeah, below should be links to our Facebook page. You can DM us on there and we'll take a look. Um, anyway, so take that off. Catch up in the chat. I'm sure I've missed lots. Oh, other people are saying eBay has gone yeah, quiet. I think most people are saying it has. Whether that's to do with the switch Apart over from Lex, to. Because Lex is just rules the world, you know. <laughs> is Lex rolling in the dollar? Yeah. But then Lex is doing a lot of Etsy, so maybe that's the key. Ah. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. Everyone will go over there now. <laughs> well, is it not to do with managed payments coming in, though? Is that not messing things up? I think it's got something to do with it, to be honest. It seems too much of a... eBay incapable of implementing something smoothly. Shock horror. Mm. Found a grow bag egg. There we go. <laughs> Segwayed into that. I'm just joking, Lex. <laughs> We're actually very pleased for you and um, also very jealous. <laughs> We're well, Jill. Um, yeah, these are cool. I've sold this before. I, I don't think you get a great deal more than £10. £10 shipped, I'm pretty sure I've got on these before, in its box anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, what did we so, pay for that? Um, Pound, I think? Keep, keep trying to click on something and then it jumps. Um, yeah, Laws says um, nothing opened here in the Highlands of Scotland, waiting eagerly for charity shops and boot sales. Um, so you guys are very lucky. Yeah, we know we are. And today it was just nice, wasn't it? It was so chill and it felt, um, it just felt normal today. It was nice. It was, it was unnervingly too normal. <laughs> unnervingly normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that explains it really, Kathy. Color changing digital room thermometer. So it's for when you have a small child, uh, you can check the temperature and it's like a night light thing. I think mm -hmm. it's nothing more than that, really. When the room temperature drops below 16 degrees, the yellow light will change to blue. Oh, yes. I didn't realize and that. I suppose it goes to red if it gets too hot. Too hot. That's clever. That is right, clever, eh? isn't it? Yeah. Too hot. Who would have thought? Normal. Chilly. And there's an orange as well. What does the orange is mean? That? Oh, warm. Yeah. To, right, okay. The so yellow is recommended. So there you go. Don't you all want one now? <laughs> Make me an offer. I do remember having a thermometer in Ellen's room when she was a baby. Not like that. It wasn't fancy. wasn't fancy. But, uh, yeah, I do remember keeping an eye on that. Um, yeah, I think it's whiz past. I think Sahir was saying that because we've had here in the UK, if you're watching from somewhere else, we've had a crazy hot for us a couple of days, hottest couple of days of the year. Yeah. Um, and people tend to in the UK go, ah, we must go to the beach, right? Or do something outside because we don't always get really nice weather. So people kind of switch off from the internet a bit. It always has an effect. Really good weather turns eBay sales down. Unless you're selling paddling pools and sun cream, <laughs> something like that. Oh, you found, did you find these? Yeah. Hogwarts oh, playing cards. Were you expecting me to say something? I'm sorry, I was making no. the chat. They're quite self-explanatory, so I just held them up. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, oh, the artwork on them is cool. They are very nice. So um, I was just reading the chat to see if I could find any. Oh, I see the, the um that is cool. The different um suits are the different houses. So that the badges, what's the badger? Oh, yeah, Pete said it used to be called a grow egg. Yeah. What's the badger? Hufflepuff. Oh yeah. right. Um yeah. The red yeah. ones are Gryffindor. So they're all themed around the four. Houses. I didn't realise that. That's cool. Oh, these have never been used. They're still they're still completely in order. Yeah. I don't think these have ever been out of the pack. Yeah, they're pack? Really, really, really nice, aren't they? We may even keep these. Well, <laughs> yesterday we found some more Harry Potter coasters, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<clears throat> and something else. Didn't we buy something else? Yeah, um, a purse. Was it a wallet? It was a Hogwarts purse. So anyway, yes. Hogwarts playing cards. What were they? Fifty p. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Fifty p. Oh, this was cool. You spotted this. I think this was mm. right under my nose. Those look dusty. They probably were. <laughs> probably. Just give them a dust. Oh, now. Um, yeah. This was. I didn't notice this at all. Uh, but you spotted it. Do you want to hold that, and I'll show something yeah. cool in a sec. Um, am I showing the plate? Yeah. Yeah. So I you, didn't know if you were I was gonna, me to hold up the box or something. I was going to show the oh. uh, the album, Nightbird. Yeah. So this is the plate. I don't know if you've heard of Rob Ryan, but he does some beautiful designs. And there's a plate there. We paid a pound for it, didn't we? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was a pound. I snapped it up. Um, I've got another single... It. What? Do you know if you found it? Yeah. Well, oh. th this guy is a famous artist, and this is here. It's kind of like a kind of filigree cutaway. Yeah, he is a paper artist by yeah by it's, trade, ah, okay. but the, he has like ceramics, mugs, that kind of thing in his designs. And the moment you picked that up, I was like, he's he's done erasure artwork. Yeah, and I went and grabbed this from the office, and lo and behold, he is uh, yeah. designed by Robert Ryan. Uh, well, there you go. Yeah, you, you, can, you can tell. Louise I mean, says that plate is right up my street. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. So he's done. He's done all sorts of work, and uh, yeah, I was just kind of excited yeah. that I, I knew instantly that I'd seen his work before yeah. on this, and all the singles from this album. Uh, which I've actually just managed to buy all of the singles from this album. Uh, I'll, I'll be sharing Somehow those. we're talking about Erasure. On again. my Depression Mode channel soon. Somehow we're talking about Erasure. <laughs> so, and that's uh, £20 plus for that plate. We'll yeah, be... and we paid a pound for it. Um, yeah. yeah, Queenie Conquest said, that's gorgeous. Is it a keeper? It is gorgeous, but uh, no, I won't keep it. I will be good and list it. High five. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, hi, Stefan. Stefan Plows. Hi, Nick and Andrew. When someone buys something on eBay, should it go to some? Should it go to something after it is marked as dispatched? Thank you. Trying to figure out eBay out for reselling. Um, no, it just stays there. Once the it's marked as dispatched, that that's it, really. And then yeah, but it still just stays on on your sold page and just says yeah, dispatched. You'll still be able to see it in your solds. Uh, it will stay there marked as dispatched. Add the tracking number if you had it. Have it as well. That's mm -hmm. quite important. But that's all you need to do. Yeah, mark as dispatched once you've shipped it, and you're good. So cool. Yeah, uh, best of luck with everything. Highlight Henry's Henry comment. That's a nice comment. Um, Henry says my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife was recommended to you guys and she has been binge, you up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's been binge watching your channel she is an ebayer and wanted to say hi and thank you thank you henry thank you henry and, and your wife and henry's <laughs> wife thank you for watching yeah shall i scroll down and get to the end oh it just jumped so it we're at the end now anyway sorry if we're missing chat it's really hard to um do both yeah and it's difficult to sort of talk and then the chat goes on and then you miss comments so now manage payments we i think we are now with they've accepted our business oh, details well, we no they have because the, the little message has gone away it went away for a while the last time <laughs> oh um we're yeah. not fully versed with it all yet but the question is uh this is from cam z hey yeah. nick and andrew quick question with the new ebay payment thingy does this mean we don't have to pay paypal fees and also, what are both of your opinions on it? Okay, well, we were going to talk about this tonight anyway, weren't we? Um, but, yeah, we didn't sign up for it until late, um, purposefully. But we have issues in terms of we're not... We have we issues have generally. Issues just but... generally. Um, but, yeah, we're not sole traders, but we're not a company. Um, we are a partnership as in two people, not a partnership as in lots of people in within a company. So when you sign up for it, it gives you the option of 
um, either you're a sole trader or you're a company. So we went with company, and of course that's confused the whole issue. Yeah. And then they needed extra paperwork, which we sent to them. And then something small didn't match up with the paperwork that we'd put in. Now on details. eBay, we are we are something like Nicholas Hills and Andrea Hills or whatever. And then yeah. with the HMRC, they'd done it with Mr. NP Hills or something. So it didn't quite line up. It was obvious no. it was us and everything. But it's so frustrating. We had the same issue with Amazon. It's either you're a company, you're a limited company, or you're a sole trader. Those are your options. And we're mm. like, uh, hello, we're neither. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of irrelevant to your thing. Um, when it switches over, you will pay eBay the fee. There will be a fee. Yeah. There's still a commission to receive payment. eBay is taking that payment now. So what happens is um, the buyer can use PayPal to pay but the payment will go to eBay and you, it won't go into your PayPal account. Um, so everything will go to eBay and then they will pay you at a certain time. Um, and I think you can choose whether you get paid daily or weekly. Right. Or, oh, that's interesting. So um, so people can still pay with PayPal, but it's all yeah, they collected can still at pay eBay. With PayPal, but it doesn't go into your PayPal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's going to take a while to get our heads around it and we're not, actually yeah. using it yet so we'll, we'll be able to comment a bit more once yeah. we've got there, used I to know it right? there have been issues this week um with G gsp um heather the treasure pirate had huge problems with it um with international payers not buyers not being able to pay um something yep. went skew with there. gsp went wrong for um, sure i did get on to a guy at ebay and he assures me that it's all been fixed so hopefully that you know hi jury um from canada good to see you uh it says i had some managed payment issues already um i think we all knew it was going to yeah. be a, a it, bumpy it was ride obvious <laughs> that there was it was, wasn't going to be plain sailing that there would be issues to start with it was obvious that was going to happen um yeah. I'm avoiding managed payments. I'm a late adopter, not signing up until they force me. That's kind of where we were at. And then we thought we'd better yeah. get on board well, now. We were told. Is there a deadline now? It says you need to sign up by the 15th of July or something. So we did that. Yeah. But then <laughs> so, that. But that I think some people. Back. Yeah. But I think some people haven't even been offered the chance to sign up. Oh, they're slowly rolling it out. Like too. Karen and, and Mandy have not been able to sign up yet at all. Oh, OK. So I think, they, yeah, I think they're staggering it with people. And there seems to be no rhyme or reason to why. No. So, I don't know. Uh, oh, but they have been good working with me for a change. Oh, good. OK. Cool. Yeah. I mean, when we called them, with our issues of signing up, they were really very helpful, weren't they? Yeah, we got through to uh, we got through to America actually yeah. to sort out our managed payments sign up issue. We're not a company, we're not sole traders, and and they were really helpful and they understood and they were calm and they were. Yeah, it was a shame we had to have several phone calls to sort out this very frustrating, silly issue, but yeah. it seems like it's been solved now. And they were very pleasant on the phone and understanding, right? Mm. But yeah, yeah. Um, wanna... I recommend eBay chat as well. You get the chats emailed to you, and it saved me twice with two reps giving me the incorrect info. Okay. okay. Well, we spoke to somebody, and they were really helpful. That one. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's okay. What I like. Designed by Jasper. Hi, Nick and Andrea, or hi, Andrea and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> You say you're not used to not being first. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome, Jasper. Uh, love your channel. I've been watching a few weeks now. I've been selling on eBay for 16 years. Wow. Long in the tooth like us. <laughs> I've worked out our business should save approximately £200 a month with managed payments. Oh, okay. Really? Well, now, we good. saw somebody else say that overall it's more expensive. Yeah, certain categories are, certainly. Yeah. But when you average it out, somebody else was doing analysis mm. and worked out it was, on average, more expensive. But it's going to depend where most of your stuff is, in yeah. which categories. And I don't understand why they've made it more expensive to sell in some categories. No. What's that all about? Why not just have a flat rate? Flat rate, surely? 
anyway but i'm glad yeah. it, it looks like it's going to work out for you we've not looked into it and no, we don't know how it's going to affect us and to be honest there's nothing we can do about it anyway it's got to accept so it. we will roll with the punches yeah. on that one but that's good to hear actually though yeah look husty said um ebay gave me a week's one pound final value fees and i caved in yeah we didn't even get that offer i was a bit put out how rude yeah but we didn't get that offer yeah okay um, do you want to go to the end of the chat yeah. oh i'll tell you um, something are we sharing more stuff yeah let's share more stuff um we we didn't buy a lot that's why i'm stringing this out <laughs> This is last week again, if you're just joining us. Uh, we went selling at a car boot sale and had a literally like a 10, 15 minute wander around mm. before we set up. Yeah. Um, bread and butter for me, kids' book sets. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Uh, it sells well as a set. I think this is 10. Is this 10, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Yeah. Um, it's been a while. Don't want to mislead you, so I don't want to say how much it's worth. It's. <laughs> okay. 10 or 15 something like, something like that ish and talking of books this was from the week before but i'm sure i forgot to share it it's a whopper it's a holy bible but oh, it's all shiny hey shiny hey look at the condition on that though and it was super cheap it's not been read much <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not been read much um and it was now I don't think I even paid a pound. I think this was 50 pence. Mm. I seem to remember having the conversation with the women, woman and there were loads of books scattered about. I was like, how much are your books? And she said 50 pence each. So I reached out for this because, I mean, crumbs, it's a whopper. It's actually the revised version. I won't make jokes about the, the Bible. It's, it, it's rude. Um, it is, yes. It's quite re offensive to quite a lot of people. from the Brevia text as printed at the Cambridge University Press. So it's a lovely, lovely thing. And look, you've got the nice gold effect on the spine. It has... Now, didn't this have It has a, got an inscription in the front, yeah. Yeah, like a dedication presented to... Well, I won't say the name, but presented to a chap... By a lady, Christmas eighty two. Yeah. So it's quite sad in a way that that's. Yeah. But I clearly, mean, it wasn't getting used. My, my granddad had a Bible, sort of similar size. It was like a family Bible. I think it's gone to one of my uncles now. Yeah. But yeah. It's quite common for families to have a sort of a family Bible like that. Now I've not sold a Bible for a long time. We have sold Bibles, but not for years. Um, I'm not sure price-wise yeah. where I'm going. How can on you that. revise the price? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Yeah. Uh, so oh, I was going it's to... a bestseller and vintage too. Yeah. It's number one bestseller. Oh. I wanted to. Do, I wanted to get a uh, screenshot. I always forget to do, line something up that, that might look cool for a screenshot. Can you hold? Oh, what are we doing now? Having having a family portrait. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to do something like this so I can screen grab it. How, I don't know. But... Okay. Right. Oh, please. Because I go through these trying to make a thumbnail and I can't find anything that looks interesting. I hope everyone's laughing and not cringing. At what? Uh, um, ridiculousness of um, posing for a, I'm sure a thumbnail. I'm sure they're used to it by now. Oh, what oh, was this? What's, that? What's this all about? Oh, yeah. I bought a pot and how much did I pay for it? I think it was a pound. Might be a 50p. It's not signed or, or anything. It's not. Yeah. It had something stuck to the bottom of it, which I took off because it was just horrid um, in terms of like a spongy thing. Um, but I don't know. I just liked it. So I bought it. <laughs> what more can you say? <laughs> you don't have to qualify it any more than that, dear. Liked it. I liked it. So I, liked I bought it. it. I bought it. You've done well on these, though, haven't you? You you bought some of this stuff and and really had no clue, but you, it all sells. Yeah. All of this uh, studio pottery. Oh my goodness! Yesterday, we found some amazing, mm, gorgeous oh. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Spent a fair bit of money on it too, but I think we're gonna do well on it. Um, you may remember we picked up a plate by Ken. Oh, what's his name? I can't remember. Walker? Him, no. no. I can't remember his name. Edwards. Ken Edwards. Ken Edwards. Uh, based in Mexico, does bird designs on studio pottery. 
we picked up a plate of his. Took ages to sell. The plates are really quite <laughs> common. But I think I've been picking up studio pottery longer than you, Josh. So just leave that. Since there. before you were born, we've been. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but we found, um, yeah, the plate was quite bog standard, took ages to sell, and we got like 10 or 12 pounds for it, uh, if that, didn't we? But yesterday, you'll see it next week, we found some massive, like a great big vase, another quite intricate vase. Yeah, well, I picked loads one of up little because ones. it was stunning. It had like a sunshine type yeah. design on it and a moon on the other side, and it was so beautiful. But I picked it up and she said eight pounds, and I thought oh that's a bit much and then you recognized the maker yeah i recognized the design of the bird um and you went oh that's that's ken edwards and no i didn't oh well, that's that that's mexican it. bloke <laughs> <laughs> that's that mexico yeah. bloke and then i literally we we weren't sure because to be fair to her she was asking reasonable prices but we thought yes. mm, i'm not sure so we we walked back to the car and i did mexico ken vase yeah. i think i'd figured out the ken bit and, yeah. and we took a look at completed and we thought, yeah. yes, we're just going to go for it. And I think we've got everything for 35. No, 30. Yeah, I think we got it down to 30. But we'll show those next week anyway. Um, yeah. Yes, it is fun selling it, Josh. And, and just learning about it. I really just I love learning about different artists and different makes. And yeah. Whereas, whereas this is just... <laughs> It's just Disney. Disney. Um, yeah. Um, These are as common as muck, actually. Stall says, oh, I love Ken Edwards' Tanola wear. So that's... Tanola, is that, a, is that, that a thing? Write that down. Um, you, you trouble is, you write things down on post-it notes and you throw them away. <laughs> this, this, my desk is just <laughs> covered in them. <laughs> yeah, put Ken Edwards' Tanola wear, because um, well, that's a good keyword. Stall always comes up with the best keywords. Like um, that? yeah 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 well they're all birds and the lady we had quite a chat with her actually and she said that she had had she used to collect it and she had decided to have a clear out but she was keeping the birds she had some of the actual birds that he makes so bird shaped ceramics all nicely painted um but she was clearing out all of the vases we bought about i think it's <laughs> nine or ten little tiny vases i'm not yeah. sure can they be vases though they are little they're tiny really small they're almost like shot glasses. I know, that's what I was thinking, but you, you're not going to drink. I don't know. You're not going to drink shots out of little pottery things. Yeah. We'll show you next week anyway. Teaser. Yeah. <laughs> if the pottery doesn't sell, it will go lovely with it. I've sold most of my wicker. I've only got like one or two things left. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chip mug. They're pretty bog standard. Loads of these sold. So yeah. what do they go for? Not a lot. Uh like depends between seven and ten it depends i mean this is a is that a parks one no 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 so it's not a parks one which would add to the value generally no. yeah anyway is what it is yeah i don't know no I don't, it would say disney parks wouldn't it yeah um and that's kind of it there was some board games i i barely go anywhere without buying a board game um that's Lyric, which we need to play this. We've, I've bought and sold this more times than I care to remember, but we've never actually played this. I don't know why. It's right up our street. Um, Val's Craft Shed said, Nick doesn't need a Bible. He has his own personal Jesus. Depeche Mode joke. <laughs> Your own. <laughs> oh, no, don't make him sing. Uh, what? Oh, Jesse ah. says it's a Disney store one. Yeah, I wasn't. That I wasn't completely convinced because it doesn't say the Disney store. It doesn't say yeah. store either. Mm. There were various um, high street stores in the UK that were doing these at yeah. the time. Even Primark was doing one, weren't they? Yeah, it's not the, I think it's the Primark one. I don't know, it might be. Not mm. sure. Anyway, that's that. Well, news junkie thinks that might be great for a Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> we we're not sure, because we've never played it, I'm not sure how it plays. Guess the song title from the following lyrics. What is that? Oh, right. Okay. So it's just snippets of songs. What's the first thing she offers in the chorus of the Robbie Williams song, Angels? Oh, that is cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah, we can play be. this on Monday. Yeah. I did um, actually write a quiz for last week. 
Oh, we did. We did all of the work for last week. And then, oh, yeah, nobody's seen you since then. Well, I have. I was on Cellar Ladies. Oh, they may not have watched. <laughs> they may not have watched. Andrew's fine. Yeah, I'm, as um, you can see, I'm fine. Protection. <laughs> yes. Can you help? Yes, I, I want to read this out. Oh. Yes, protection. That was breakaway from me. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, a lot, a lot. No, I won't um, Dav G says, hello guys, hope you're both well. Saw your Instagram pics from the Jumble Trail. Can I ask, how do you find out when and where they're happening as I search online but don't have much luck? I searched online and Facebook. I use Facebook as well. Um, regular, regular searching. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you any more than that because that's, that's just how I do it. I do it online. Um, but today's i think was word of mouth because we went to one yesterday and then somebody else said oh there's oh no i had found that one out already yeah yeah somebody did tell us yeah. about today's one yesterday but we already knew I, i'm worrying about myself you know, i think i'm going to see now well i worry about you a lot <laughs> so that will play on it's monday good to know that you care, on it's monday good to know you care um well are we going to do the quiz we, we prepared um i think it might be fun to do that one <laughs> let's do that we might one. save the quiz we prepared yeah, it's not um, anywhere, is it? yeah bog standard for me i i way prefer the old downfall this one's a bit yeah, it's a bit naff they redesigned why did they redesign this this thing is hideous right it's actually the wrong way up the original was so yeah, much Loads better. of people were saying protection. A lot of love and protection. Oh, no, you've got to sing it again. Does it start with that, then? And through it all. Oh, no, please don't. don't <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I I can't stand the design of this compared to the original oh, yeah. blue one. That's That's a good point, actually, yeah. I used the hashtag jumble trail on Instagram. If you if you use the tag, then you get adverts for some. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good tip then. Yeah. Okay. What would what we need? It we've chatted to a bunch of store holders today, and it's eight o'clock. But it's on our um, different channel. It's called what's our channel called? <laughs> Let's get quizzical. Oh, that's what it's called. There yeah. should be a link for that below. Oh, dear. I just think I need to sleep. I had four four hours sleep last night and about three hours sleep the night before. So not been able to sleep in this heat. Um, I was going to say, we chatted to a, a few store holders uh, today and yesterday. And a lot of them were like, isn't this such a good idea? I've never heard of these, blah, blah, blah. And we're like... We were chatting to them and saying it's becoming really popular it's starting to spread across the country and i think um jumble trails as we're like liking to call I, them here in the uk i definitely need a holiday uh, yeah we've been thinking about holiday because our holiday has been cancelled now uh, yeah. so we need to sort something else out but and as no, i was trying I'm to say i've been on the wine i'm drinking decaffeinated coffee well there's your problem yeah i didn't want to get dehydrated <laughs> Um, I think what I'm going to say is as, as jumble trails, whatever you want to call them, yard sale trails become more and more popular, a centralized website <coughs> where you can list it would be really handy. Yes. That's, all, that's all I've got to say. Yes. No, I'm not putting, I'm not offering to do it, but there no. you go. <laughs> Sorry, it took you ages to get that out. And then when you try to get the speak. <laughs> it, uh, it was... I built it up, didn't I? That was it. Um, oh yeah, somebody's um, somebody's linked. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, that's the quiz channel. Um, we do a regular one on a Monday. I do try and do other ones, but recent weeks we haven't really had the headspace nor the time. Um, okay, I'm holding a jumble trail, Blackpool. Ah, well there you go. People near Blackpool, um, talk to Denise. Well, that's uh, down the road from to here. Yeah. Let Zahir know. Yeah. Oh. So here you're still in Blackpool, Jumble oh. Trail. <laughs> G-Man all... just typed in Jumble Trail and um, pictures of us guys. <laughs> Picture top. of you guys at the top with a crocodile. <laughs> that was today. Yeah. 
Oh, today was so much fun. Um, I noticed Matt Walker's shout out of the week when I need to go back to it. Carry on. Yeah, today, um, did I say this earlier? I think I did. I, I picked up a big collection of vinyl mm, and good I can't stuff. wait to go through it. Um, we had quite a long ch chat with them. Mm -hmm. It was a couple, probably a bit younger than my parents, but it was all their I, own. They're very much younger than your parents. Probably, oh, were they? Probably a few years older than us, I would say. 60s, I thought. Yeah. I would have said mid fifties. No, sixties. Well, the, the well, guy was in his sixties. I, I would have said she was mid fifties, but you know, maybe I'm just being kind. Don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> no, she. I, I didn't think that they he got himself a young lady. I didn't think they were as old as that. Anyway, it's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> but they were all their collection from the seventies and eighties. Um, they said that early doors a what they referred to as a record dealer came through and bought a, quite a lot of it. So Lord only knows what was in there before we got there. But um, I won't spoil it, but there's just about every Genesis album from the beginning in there. I know they're not particularly valuable, but the condition is amazing. Mm. Really, really good. So it was exciting to find a lot of vinyl in the wild. I don't tend to find a lot or pick a lot up. No, they had good taste. They had some really good taste. And, um, a pioneer record player from the probably 70s mm. really really nice anyway that's for next week yeah. teasing <laughs> um, um no. yes no, no, don't click off it yes but i don't <laughs> always it, i'm not always prepared and it's a lot of faffing about right. sorry it's time are you prepared yeah it's time for matt walker's shout out of the week um, says hi Nick and Andrea. Could you give my wife a shout out, please? Hello, Jem. Hi, Jem. Um, sorry, we are late. We've been destroying a wasp nest in the garden. Oh, blimey! Um, it's meant to be best in the evening. It was the size of a football. Mm. That does not sound like a fun. Game. How did you destroy it? Without being stand stung well back today. and throw things at it. <laughs> Flamethrower. I'm, sure I'm sure there is a. a a way of doing it there's there's chem i know i've seen um people poke a thing in it and squirt chemicals in to do that yeah. I've, I've no idea i've never done it um, shout at them loud, loudly make them go away went to stay in like a rented house once didn't we and there was a wasp's nest and they had to kind of deal with it did we yeah that one in sandwich What's that? Don't you remember their wasps kept coming into the house? And, oh, I don't um, remember seeing a nest or anything. Yeah, there was. There was a nest above, and they got someone out to come and deal with it. Oh well, there you go. Don't remember that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, Pleasant Valley Picker. I think so. I I got it for ten pounds, which I think was an absolute steal. How it was there. This was how good this jumble trail was. At the end of, I mean, this was like 3 p.m. Do you think 3 p.m. by then? Yeah. <laughs> Did you chew me out then? No, I just don't know what, what you're asking. So me, this thing started at 11. It started at 10. 10. <laughs> it started at 10. So it was supposed to finish at 3. So a pioneer vintage wooden it was, we got there record about, player had sat on a stool about quarter to three all day. Yeah, we got there about quarter to three. Yeah. And we, other things. There was a store where everything was free. Mm. And there was sealed media there. Mm. There was a I great know. big collection of Skylanders. We just went up and we're like, seriously? Everything's free? And mm. we just... It was it was odd. It's really odd. And um, towards the end of it as well, a lot of stalls, I think I said before, were just packing up, going inside and putting up mm. a sign please take what you want it's a really weird thing to do i know it feels odd to just take stuff yeah some had left little pots to make donations or whatever so we were doing that um others had just said please help yourself um yeah it was crazy and there just weren't many people buying not that we saw anyway so yeah but i didn't film today so sadly you're not going to see when we picked up the vinyl or the record player no, which filmed, is a shame filmed yesterday instead. yeah filmed yesterday um 
Oof. Yeah, so Matt used an extra long stick in the garden hose. Where? I just highlighted it. Oh, there. <laughs> extra long stick Where? and there. the garden hose. Yeah, there under the stick. <laughs> fire did cross my mind, but didn't want to set fire to the neighbour's garage. Yeah, fair enough. Extra long stick and the garden hose. What, so you poked the hose in and flooded them? Fair enough. Don't know. Not a job I fancy doing. No, we were very selective. But there was one stall where um, they'd put up, please help yourselves, all free. And it was just Terry Pratchett hardback books, like yeah. five of them, was it? I was like, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think these trails will continue given, given the second wave? Well, I they think... They until we're told not to. Sorry. Yeah. No, I think you're right. And also, it's a much easier thing to manage social distance-wise than a car boot sale. I think mm. if anything's going to be um, frowned upon, it will be car boot sales. Um, yeah. With these, generally, you're either walking around uh, or you're driving around like us. Mm. And we were rarely with other people at a stall. Mm. Um, so it was just mainly us and then the people behind the tables. So it's um, very socially distant. Yes, yeah, so you've got that barrier with the stall holder anyway. Mm. Um, hand sanitizer for when you touch things. And a lot of stalls had hand sanitizer yeah, on did. the stall or as you walked into the yeah. front garden you'd they'd yeah. say please sanitize. yesterday and i wished that everybody did that they literally had it just as you walk into their garden and with a sign saying please sanitize before you look at the stuff and i thought that was a really good idea we obviously did that um i mean i used my own all the time but i thought that was a, a i wished they'd all done that because then you would feel more confident about what you were touching uh -huh. um, yeah but a lot of people actually said today that they preferred doing this because they didn't want to do a boot sale they didn't want to go to a boot sale and sell there uh, but this gave them a chance to sell some of their stuff and they felt more comfortable to do it well a few people said that in the area we were which was kind of what well, sorry kind of west southwest london kind of area um, they were saying that boot sales round there weren't back on yet in some cases. So this was a good, really yeah. good alternative. Yeah. Uh, and people were, like you said, and also saying they were more comfortable doing that than going to a very crowded field. Mm. So anyway, um, hi, Lee. I picked up 30 cassettes today for 10 pence each to find one single that has sold for 35, a single, 35 pounds. Wow. That's crazy. Also, 20 12-inch records, including a white label of Lenny de Ice. We are EI. Don't know that. Will be £50 upwards. Wow, nice pickup. That's really good. Um, yeah, Aaron's talking about, on his channel, he's got chats about tax. Yeah, we also, Aaron came on here. Uh, you can find that one where we chat about uh, claiming expenses when you buy for when you pay cash at car boot sales and jumble trails uh, that's a really interesting chat uh we're planning on doing one about claiming expenses when you work from home as well which i need educating on so i'm going to be learning so yeah uh check that out when we do that have we shown all of our finds from yeah last pretty week? much there's only dvds and cds that are just the mm. stuff that i pick up every Okey week yeah. yeah so We'll probably think about wrapping up shortly. Um, do you ever get any vintage fishing equipment? I would be interested. It's not something I'm kind of in tune with. My uncle really is, and he keeps telling me, look look out for, was it Abu? I think it's Abu is one of them makes. I might have said that wrong. But it's not something that tends to be on my radar. I have bought and sold fishing equipment, but I never found much that's worth a great deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, she really is saying some stupid woman coughed like crazy all over me at a boot sale last week. I've been ill since Friday. Oh no! Wow. Well, yeah. I hope you're okay. Keep your masks oh, on. Is the 
that's a worry so hopefully it's hopefully just a cold and not anything to worry about how awful though she's coughing to, to not cover up she shouldn't have been out and about no yeah well best of luck with that julie hope everything's okay um yes yeah, still going neil we're about to wrap up <laughs> I don't know if that's a question for us. Rasha T, at what age did you start reselling on eBay? Well, I first started selling on eBay. It was either 98 or 99. It was when we lived, first lived together. Yeah. So I would have been, oh, blimey, can't wear that out. 20, 26, 20, 25, 26. 25. About 25? Mm. I don't know um okay let's we'll highlight a few more comments and then we'll wrap up um aaron says i'm afraid i think car boot sales are some of the worst offenders for distancing etc mm -hmm. yes there's been a system in place uh with sanitizer with sanitizer but once in it's a free-for-all we have seen yeah, a lot of that yeah and we definitely preferred the jump the, the trail that we did today because it it was so relaxed today as well, nice. generally. Yeah, it was lovely. Apart from driving around and trying to park. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yesterday in particular, um, what was it? Chertsey. Mm. Lovely, lovely place, but parking and the amount of cars on every road parked. In fact, it was worse today in Sudbury. Mm. Sunbury? Sunbury. Sunbury. Sun Sudbury is a different place. <laughs> It was just chaos uh, and yeah apart from that bit which was stressful for me having a drive but yeah right what are you looking for oh hello shelly hi shelly <laughs> am i late no we just got started <laughs> about an hour ago <laughs> <laughs> about an hour ago oh. cough and everyone thinks you have it yeah I'm afraid so. We're living in a very paranoid world at the moment. Yeah, and you know what Nick's like with his coughing and his allergies. Oh, it's awful. If I if I breathe in some dust at a stall, which is fairly regular, and start like sneezing and coughing. Oh, yeah. Neil said I had a coughing fit in my mask the other day. It wasn't pleasant. People soon cleared, and I had to leave the shop to change masks. Yeah, yeah. It makes you so self conscious. Yeah, yeah. I I have a very sensitive throat and allergies and stuff like that, and I have sneezing and coughing fits and you do you feel really embarrassed and and like everyone's staring even if they're not right you mm. just think ah and i just leave the area yeah yeah um sometimes but rarely <laughs> in answer to that question yeah alan uh, every now and again i'll pick up a, a collection when i find it at the right price uh, if you ever see anything in these haul videos uh, you can just message us through facebook we do deals outside you know direct from these halls all the time um and we're happy to give discounts that way <laughs> fashionably late yes you're so trendy shelly okay yeah so i think we'll wrap this one up if you do want to join us tomorrow it looks like we're now going to be playing um where'd it go uh, yeah lyric we think we're going to have a go at this tomorrow now on the quiz channel. Uh, link for that is below. It's just a bit of a laugh, really. The whole channel is based around quizzing um, and we play it live so you compete against everybody else who's watching, which can be sometimes up to a couple of hundred people on a busy one. So it's really competitive, really good fun. Uh, please check us out. The link is below to that. Subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow at eight. Yes. Um, Gary Reynolds says, can I have a link for the mask? Is this the Karen's masks that you're talking about? Um, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Will there somebody else be able to link Karen's Instagram, please? Because I can't really do it while I'm live. But... What's the name of it? Um, Karen the Sewing Thrifter, I believe. Karen, K-A-R-I-N, the Sewing Thrifter, and you'll find that. Yeah? Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, Mr. Sprout, 
Hi guys, picked up a Wallace and Gromit clock for a pound, going for 70 plus. Is that the one like a square thing and it's got the figures arranged on it like in a living room? Yeah, I don't know if you can see. No, you'd have to be closer. There you go, underscores. Yeah. Yeah, I've sold the Wallace and Gromit clocks. They have sound effects and it's like a clock radio. Is it clock radio? No, not clock radio. It wakes you up with phrases from the film do you remember we've had them oh, a few yeah, times yeah. yeah 70 pound plus it can't really? be it can't be that one Blimey. maybe they've gone up yeah I anyway i thought they'd just postcards fashion postcards at the ready we, we used to sell loads of wallace and gromit stuff and then it just oh thank you tea cakes for oh there Instagram. it is right okay so there, there's the link for that yeah right long goodbyes <laughs> Um, apparently it says Wallace and Gromit time for walkies. <laughs> ah, yeah, we've had. Yeah, I don't know. I used to pick up all kinds of Wallace and Gromit stuff, and then it just in kind the of early, went out of fashion yeah. a little bit, and we stopped picking it up. In the early two thousands, we were making really good money on loads of Wallace and Gromit stuff because it was really in, and it was everywhere. Right, we'd find it every week. No, it's a round one. Oh, oh. no, hang on. No, it's a round one. Okay, okay. I'm thinking of like a little living room scene mm. we've had quite a few times. And it wasn't worth masses back then. Anyway. Cool. Yep. Thanks, Pete. Uh, we will see you tomorrow if you're quizzing. Yes. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> so much chat going on. <laughs> ah, okay. You mean the square one goes to 50? Yeah, I didn't think that. Okay. Right, we got there eventually. <laughs> oh, hi, Tony. I'm sorry we're about to go, uh, but we, we'll see you next week, maybe. You can always watch this one back. Right, so uh, we always leave you with some words of wisdom. Um, I don't know what you'll come up with this week. Stay safe and sanitize. That's been, that's outrageous. It's been that for like two months. It still is. <laughs> Shelley says great show all, all five minutes of it Shelley <laughs> yeah. you got you got the best bit right the lot the goodbye that takes about five or ten minutes is the best bit yeah.